Hello, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. This is Saiful Alam, assistant teacher of English, Master of Secondary School. Shakira Shadur, Shakira. Today, I am going to take a class of class 8. Uh, and I would like to welcome you all to my online class. Hope you will get benefited from this class. Okay? Okay, my dear students, uh, let's go to the board. Uh, hope you are well, by the grace of Almighty. I am also fine, thank you. <coughs> Let me ask you some questions from pre previous classes. Uh, can you tell me? Uh, in the last classes, we were learning about changes, necessary changes in tenses, okay. So can you tell me if uh, the sentence is in present indefinite tense, what will happen in indirect narration? Thank you. It will be past simple tense, very good. If it is present continuous tense, then what will happen in the indir indirect narration? Thank you. Present continuous tense will be converted into past continuous tense. Thank you. If it is present perfect continuous tense, then what will happen? Past perfect continuous tense. Thank you very much. Okay, my dear students. Uh, let me write a sentence. <coughs> uh, Raju said to Mina I want some help from you Okay, my dear students, uh, can you tell me uh, which sentence is it within bracket? This is reported speech. This is reported speech. Uh, which tense is it? Yes, thank you. It is present tense. But what type of sentence is it? I want some help from you. Thank you. If we describe something, it is called assertive sentence. Thank you very much. So, today's topic uh, is certainly narration we have been learning. Assertive sentence. Okay. Assertive sentence. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, so we have been learning assertive sentence. Thank you. Okay, let's move to the second session of my class. Okay, this is uh, as you know, this is direct sentence, and the answer will be in direct. Uh, I would like to pay attention to the person in the reported speech. You see, there are two persons here in the reported speech in these sentences. In this sentence, sorry. Uh, one is I and another is you. Can you tell me which what type of person is it? What type of person? How many persons are there in English? There are three persons okay but what type of person is it this is first person okay and this is second person so i we first person you second person and the rest rest of the things we see in the world even uh, abstract nouns are called third person okay 
So, so I'm going to underline it here, okay? so that it becomes easy for you. So, in the reported speech, if there is first person, okay. So, if, if you find any first person in reported speech, so it always indicates who here, this one or this one. Certainly, this one, okay. Before the reporting one, okay. First person indicates subject, and here you indicates which one? This one. So, second person indicates object here, first person indicates subject here. I think you understood. So, first person indicates subject, second person indicates object here, okay? And uh, this is very necessary when we are learning narration, okay? Uh, because the students often become confused uh, in this sector about person, okay? Okay, thank you very much for that. Okay, so, okay, thank you. So, which tense is it? This is present simple tense, thank you. If it is present simple tense, it will be converted into Past simple, thank you. So, uh, in the last class, we have been talking about if it is said verb, if it is said, we will use said, if it is said to, we use told, thank you. Okay, so here said to, so we can, we should write, can you tell me? Raju told me, so told Meena, sorry, Meena, so this indicates Raju, Raju is a male, male person, so we should use that when we are uh, removing quotation, so we are, uh, we are using that as conjunction, okay, uh, in assertive sentence. Then subject Raju, so we should use he because he is a male person and it would be he wanted okay. past indefinite, present indefinite, indefinite or present simple tense becomes past indefinite tense. Okay. Some help from, from you. You means Meena. So Meena is a female person. That's why we should use her. Uh, I think you have uh, understood this one. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the another sentence. said to mother to mother said to mother you are going to you are you are going to London London soon okay so Look at the tense of the reported speech. You are going to London soon. So, which tense is it? It is if something is going on or happening now, we call we call it present continuous tense. Thank you. So, 
present continuous tense will be converted into past continuous tense. Thank you. So, I said to will be told. I told mother, mother. So, when we are dropping con uh, quotation mark, so we have to use that. Okay. So here again, uh, now you should tell me, this is second person, so which one these indicates? It will be this one or this one, which one? So which person is it? Yes, second person. So second person indicates object, okay? Don't forget, second person indicates object. Okay. So she she was going to London soon. So my dear students, look at the board very carefully. Present continuous tense is, is being converted into was a uh, past continuous tense. You see, was going to London soon. Okay. Okay. Then, My students said we have completed the whole work. We need to do, and you have to pay attention to the uh, to the sentence. Now you tell me, which tense is it? Which tense is it? This sentence reported the speech in which which tense is it? We have completed the homework. Which tense is it? This is uh, if subject and has have then verb past participle or B three. Which tense is it? Yes, this is this is present perfect tense. Thank you very much. Okay, so if it is present perfect tense, it will be past perfect tense. Thank you. So my students, so if it is said, so we have to use said here. Say, so we are dropping position marks, so we are using that. So, first person indicates whom? First person indicates subjects. So, the third person, so we, we are using they here. Okay, so present perfect tense will be past perfect tense. So, they had. Completed the homework. Okay. I think uh, you have understood. Uh, certainly, you can comment if you don't understand because uh, we have no option to ask you any questions. Any question? Uh, after uploading the uh, class. You can ask ask questions, okay? No problem. We will try our best to help you. Okay. Let me give you another example. My 
daughter, said, I have been learning a poem for an hour. Okay. So Another sentence <clears throat> tell me which tense is it when you are going to solve questions or problems in narration you have to have clear idea about tense this is very necessary so I have been learning a poem poem for an hour so which tense is it this is present perfect continuous tense because she is trying to learn this poem for an hour. So starting for a minute to 60 minutes. Okay. So stretching a span of time. So it is present perfect continuous tense. So present perfect continuous tense is converted into past perfect continuous tense. Thank you. My daughter so said would be said that so I will be my daughter. She had been learning a poem. So present present perfect continuous tense becomes past perfect continuous tense. Okay. Okay. Let me give you another example. Rakib said, I went to market yesterday. Okay. So this is, <clears throat> you see, look at the bar. This is past simple tense. So past simple tense will be converted into, will become past perfect tense. Okay. So Rakib said that, so here past person will be Rakib, he had gone to market. Market. We have gone to market. So yesterday will be converted into the previous previous day. So, past simple tense will be converted into past perfect tense, okay? So look at the bar, past simple tense. So, past perfect tense, object, had, v3, okay? okay? That's 
this move. Not that far. sentence I was taking tea. It is past continuous tense. So it would be past perfect continuous tense. Okay. It would be past perfect continuous tense. So my sister said that so this will be here. So she she have been swimming sorry she has been taking tea tea that's all so past continuous tense would be converted into past perfect continuous tense okay okay uh, Next one. Certainly, I'm focusing on tense. Okay. Because reported this piece very carefully because uh, this sentence is a bit different from any other assertive sentences assertive sentence okay. uh, and it indicates universal truth you see our, the art moves around the sun so if if you find if you find any universal truth or habitual fact that you do each and every day so we'll will not make any change in the bar of reported speech when we are converting into converting it into indirect narration okay so my mother my teacher sorry teacher said that the art moves around the sun. Okay. So look at the look at the sentence very carefully in direct one. Uh, we did not make any change here. You see, art moves around the sun the art moves around the sun okay so it is this thing should be followed only about universal truth and habitual fact okay uh, My dear students, now it is time to give you some homework. Okay. Uh, so, let's do it. I'm, I'm writing five sentences. Okay. Homework. Number one. She said I am writing an email now okay. 
writing an email now. Okay. Number two. Jyoti said, I want a pen. I want a pen. Number three. He said, We have been waiting for hours. Number five, last one. They said to me, we were living in Paris. Paris is the capital of France. Okay. So, okay. So, so okay, my dear students. Uh, Hope you will do the homework and submit. Uh, thank you very much for paying attention to my class. Uh, hope you have enjoyed the class and certainly will get benefited if you watch it. So if you if you don't watch it, so it will be a full of waste of time and money. Please please uh, watch this video for your betterment. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.